Welcome to Eugenic. In this video, we're going to explain what causes the electronic consumers offline or off. What causes the error on these Mercedes and what does that even mean? So let's first address that. What does that mean when it says electronic consumers off? So what that means is the battery in the vehicle has been discharged, partially discharged. So it might be able to start the engine, but it might not be able to operate everything properly. So there's certain systems on the vehicle that are not critical to the operation of the vehicle that will get turned off for the first 10, 15 minutes after you start the engine. Uh, things such as like heated seats, for example, or cooling seats, if you got that feature, uh, maybe even the command, um, that might be a radio might not come on, you know, things of that nature that you don't need to operate the vehicle, those will be turned off. And the reason why is because the vehicle is recognizing the battery is partially discharged we're going to use as much current from the alternator just to charge the battery and then about 15 minutes later the battery reaches the optimal uh, charge level and then uh, everything comes back to normal so that's what that means um, nothing to really worry about unless um, you have a really old battery so and let's let's uh, take a look now at uh, what causes it First one if you, is if you have an old battery, typically if it's over six years old, that battery might not hold a charge. And if you leave the car parked for a few days, you come back to the car, you try to start it, you get that warning. Um, it, it usually, you know, you drive for 10, 15 minutes, it goes away, but that process repeats over and over again. So if you got an old battery over six or seven years old, it might be time to replace it. The other thing is if uh, you have a new battery, and you come um, and you see that the reason why that happens is because you might come be in the car, stay in the car usually, turn on the ignition, turn on radio, maybe lights, you know, maybe using a charger, things of that nature. And you do that for about 20 minutes with the engine off. And what's going to happen is that battery is not getting charged. So what will happen is that battery will get discharged. As when you try to start the car, it probably will start, but... You're going to get that electronic consumer offline. And, and again, it's going to last for about 10, 15 minutes after you start the car. And it should just go away. And there's nothing to worry if that happened once. But um, if you do have a new battery, and every time, every morning, you see that warning come up. Um, so you park the car at night, you come in the morning, and it says electronic consumers offline. Um, you might have an electrical issue with your vehicle. And... Uh, what I mean by that is that you might have a system, for example, it could be the amplifier. It's a common issue on these cars, for example, the um, uh, amplifier or also known in Mercedes term as audio gateway module. Um, it, it's supposed to turn off about uh, one minute, a couple, uh, one to two minutes after you turn off the car. Well, sometimes it doesn't turn off and what it does, it consumes power, it stays on, even though the radio looks off. Um, the amplifier is on the back, it's still consuming power and that current draw is enough to bring the battery down to a level that in the morning causes that warning to come up. Um, so that is something to keep in mind and if, if you're getting that warning and you have a new battery, that's most likely what you have. It's called a, a parasitic draw. Um, it's a little bit tricky to find. Um, you need basically a multimeter and then you can go to the fuse panels and then um, you'd have to remove each fuse individually and see where you notice any significant current draw. Um, there's other videos on that, on how to find that, but that's something to keep in mind um, if you got a new battery and keep getting electronic consumers offline. If you only see this warning once and that's it, you started the car 15 minutes later, that goes away. There's nothing to worry about if you keep seeing that frequently and you have an old battery, uh, our recommendation would be to um, drive the car for uh, at least an hour or two and then visit an auto parts store and have them check your battery and alternator. They do it free of charge. Um, if, if you cannot drive the car for an hour, you can uh, grab a battery charger connected to uh, the positive and negative on the ground in the engine bay. Most Mercedes will have it those posts there even if the battery is under a seat or something um, and you charge that battery fully and then take it for a test 
and then they'll tell you if the, the battery is not holding a charge or if your alternator is having an issue. In most cases, the problem is because of the um, battery that is partially discharged, but there could be cases where the, it could be a, a, an issue, an electrical issue or a problem with the alternators, things of that nature. Uh, those are much less likely, but they're possible. Um, and in really to diagnose those cases, you'll need a Mercedes scanner that can do a multi-system or a full system scan. Um, and you go from there. But thank you for watching. Bye.